now we have implemented the tests using and okay the build is running successfully okay now what you can do is that you can also make an exe file all right so for example i'll open a new notepad and i'll make an exe file with which we can run the project even a manual tester can come and run the project okay so what you can do is you can give the same commands which you gave on ant over here sorry you can go to the location of your project all right you give the same commands over here all right and which commands we use we use the compile and run so you go to the project and give the and commands in this file and you save this file on your say i'll save it on my desktop in double quotes you name the file i'll name it as project dot bat file okay so it will be saved with the extension dot bat this is the dot bat extension and when i run this see it starts executing the project so you just have to double click on this run it and with the help of and it will start executing the project so even a manual tester can run the project now okay even a manual tester can run the project so what you can do now is that you can use this file you, you you can give it to the manual tester he can change the data in the excel file and simply he can read, run the selenium projects and also we are actually going to do that in the frameworks and all fine now let us come over to maven this pom.xml we can also run from this uh, maven from pom.xml we can execute the projects the added advantage with pom.xml is that it also gives you a kind of system in which you can maintain the version of the jar files in your team in which you are using okay you can maintain the version of all the jar files which you are using in your team with the help of maven now in maven in the last module that is in before this module i talked about maven right we had made a file with the main function and executed the file with that main function okay over here we don't have any main functions in our test cases we don't have any main functions we have at the rate test annotations so how do you execute these test annotations with maven all right to do that you can use a plugin known as maven surefire plugin okay right apart from this dependency tag all right there is a tag known as build which you can make in your pom.xml which explains how to build the project and in this build project build tag you can have various plugins i can define different plugins right for example uh, i can define this one this is my plugin maven surefire plugin okay and this is showing me some error okay, okay. plugins and then plugin all right fine so you can have different plugins under the plugins tag okay this is one of them which is maven surefire plugin now this can execute the junit tests very easily okay the first command which you can give on the command prompt after going to the path of the project where pom.xml is lying you can give mvn clean command when you give mvn clean command all right and if you go to the location of your project it will clean the target directory this is the target directory it's created by maven when you give mvn clean command it cleans all these directories okay right and hold on it is still running that's why they are not deleted hold on yeah it's saying build success and see the target directory has gone sometimes it hangs in between for a very long time okay you just just have to hit control c in your case it it will also download many dependencies when you write mvn clean okay now you give the command mvn compile or mvn test simply 
run the command mvn test when you run it it will compile the project and run it okay the target folder will be remade under this under test classes you will be seeing the test in the class files and it will say the total test runs are 5 failures are 1 errors are 0 okay look uh, the thing is it is when you write mvn test how does it find which test cases to execute i have never mentioned any test case over here okay what maven surefire plugin does is that it by default executes all those java files under under source test resource source test java it executes all those java files which have the word test in them in our case login test and validations test have executed okay right so that is why it is showing lesser number of test cases shop mobile phone is not executed so if you give the word i'll hit f2 if you give the word test in front of it and if you go here you write mvn clean let it clean the project delete the target directory and then mvn test so it will go and execute all the tests now fine okay see that total test runs are eight failures are one skipped are one okay so it executes all these files which have the word by default test in front in front of them or having the word test you can also run the custom project runner if you want you can also ask maven to run this custom project runner you can do it from this including this configuration tag you just have to include this configuration tag in your pom.xml okay right this configuration tag tells you that under this package test cases under the test cases package i have got the file custom project runner dot java okay you run this file not the file ending with test word okay so when you run this custom project runner this custom project runner will in turn run all the test files okay in the custom project runner i'll have to modify the file names shop mobile test login test and validation okay that is already done when you rename the file java automatically updates the file names fine so now if i go to my command prompt and give the command mvn say clean again and mvn test so this will go and execute the custom project runner okay right and the result of course will be the same but now the custom project runner is being executed okay right you can run also run this project from normal uh, eclipse okay you can go to run configurations right out here you will have run configuration or you can right click on your pom.xml run as you can say maven build and you can specify the goals i'll specify the goals as clean and test over here and run it and you will see the output coming up inside eclipse fine it is saying build failure no compiler is provided pro perhaps you are using jre rather than jdk okay so the solution to this problem is very simple all right it read it carefully it is saying that it needs a jdk rather than jre so j j j unit with pom out here this is pom.xml maven requires jdk in eclipse rather than jre all right so you just go to your project setup go to project properties this is jre system library instead of this you have to add jdk okay so you remove this click on add library go to uh, jre system library over here click on alternate jre 
in my case you will be seeing jdk but in your case you won't be able to see it you will have to add it over here by clicking on install jres and then uh, you will be only able to see jre you will not be able to see jdk click on add over here and say standard virtual machine vm and select the directory the path where your jdk is installed in my pc it is installed in c drive program files java jdk so select this click on ok click on finish and then select jdk jdk will come up over here okay and apply and close and finish so jdk should come up in the library of the project rather than jre all right and then you can simply right click on pom.xml run as you can clean the project from here as well maven clean it will clean the project delete the target directory right click run as maven test so this will execute all the test cases all right so you can run the test through maven as well from command prompt you can run or you have you can use the eclipse maven plugin right now you with maven the advantage you get apart from ant is that you get to have the jar files in your project as well you can run it from eclipse as well with the help of maven eclipse plugin you can also create an exe in case of maven all you need to do is that the same thing which we did in case of uh, and you can give the same command that is uh, you first go to the location of the project that is you go to this location right and give the command mvn clean and test okay so i won't save this as a bat file you can save it and run it maven can run it as well okay now the added advantage which we get with maven is that you can run the tests parallelly as well okay you can run the tests parallelly as well all you need to do is that in your pom.xml fine you can inside the configuration tag you can add few lines that is you can add these lines look parallel all parallel all means that all the tests have to be executed maximum thread count can be 10 that is maximum test can be 10 and you can alter this alter this word as well you can alter this number as well use unlimited if you don't want to limit your threads you can command this and use the command uh, use unlimited threads to true okay so when you run this now whether you run it from eclipse or you run it from uh, command prompt okay if you give the command mvn clean and then mvn test there is no need to clean it actually you can simply give mvn test it will take lesser time you will see that it will take lesser time and it will quickly finish everything okay it's downloading few dependencies maybe it's downloading the parallel dependencies for j unit to run the tests parallelly okay so you can also run it like this fine all right so hold on just give it some time yeah all right it executed fine so i'll run it again it's quite fast in parallel execution you will see that it randomly executes the test it is very fast because all the tests are executed parallelly fine okay so this will be helpful when we work with grid all right now one thing is there guys when we were using ant when we were using this build.xml of ant right then we had to manually give the path we have to keep the jars manually okay we can also give the path in ant that we can give the path of the maven jars because maven jars they get automatically configured on the system right you can give that as well and there is a plugin there is a maven and task plugin for that hold on i'll just rename this build.xml to underscore x this is the underscore core and xml 
fine now what i will do is that in my project i am at my project i'll give the command mvn ant colon ant when we do this it it will generate build.xml which will be mapped to the jar files and to the dependency of maven okay maven will generate the build.xml for ant okay it will download lot of dependencies hold on you see that build success and if you refresh the project you will see build.xml made this build.xml has been made by maven it includes the file import the file maven build.xml this is actually the xml file it's got different dependencies it always goes to the maven build directory it takes the jars from there it, it is giving the path over there so for compilation the compile is the target for running the project okay the the ta the target is test and this test target refers to custom project runner dot java you can remove this line if you want or you can just keep it this custom project runner dot java so you can run it with ant as well now you can write ant compile so this will compile the project okay but now the control is going to the maven build dot xml file the compile target in maven build dot xml is being fired all right and sometimes you will get a message that source is set to 1.3 or something okay by default you know maven sets the compiler target to 1.3 just so set it to 1.5 right and target to also 1.5 sometimes you might get an error over here okay so out here as well source to 1.5 fine so now you can compile it again and compile i am writing and i i did not get that error but at times you can get that error so build is successful now you can run it okay so the same thing you just have to run the project there are so many ways thing is for interviews and all you should be aware of these things okay so when i run uh, when i write this target test and test this will run the project okay fine so this is the thing and the output also comes up on the screen over here right now this was about j unit now there are other things as well you can use serenity with j unit and there are lots of things we'll be doing the project you will come to know the next module will be on test ng after this and you will see how test ng is different from j unit although you know they are the same the different sides of the same mirror okay so that's the thing all right